McGill Students Chinese Brush Art Club, also called MSC BAC, aims to introduce Chinese painting and calligraphy culture to the McGill community. We provide professional training in workshops and through social media. This video will give a brief introduction on brush arts mediums, tools, and skills regarding how to maneuver a brush. We will also touch on some brush strokes techniques by the end of the video. Chinese traditional painting, also named Guo Hua in Mandarin, has two main art styles. Gong Bi, where details are meticulously followed to achieve a figurative art style. Xie Yi, on the other hand, pursues a metaphorical and cultural style. Guo Hua can also be divided into three main classes, depending on the context of the painting. Landscape, human, and flower and birds. Some of the main materials used in brush arts include paper, brush, and ink. The paper for brush arts is called xuan zhi or xuan paper. It can also be called rice paper. Unlike canvas, xuan paper is really thin and can be somewhat transparent. However, it can absorb a lot of water and ink. Xuan paper can be categorized in three kinds by its ability to absorb ink and water. Shu Xuan or Ripped Xuan has less ability to absorb water. It is mainly used for Gong Bi, where details are focused. Shen Xuan or Raw Xuan, on the other hand, has more ability to absorb water. It will be easier for ink to blur on paper. It is suitable for xie yi painting. Another type of paper is called ban shu xuan, or half ripe xuan. It has an intermediate absorbability. Silk was a widespread medium for ancient paintings. A good example of silk painting would be a panorama of rivers and mountains by Wang Ximeng. Brushes used in Chinese paintings are usually made of animal furs. The most common two kinds of brushes are Lang Hao and Yang Hao. Lang Hao brushes are made by whistle furs, and Yang Hao are made by goat furs. They're different by their softness. To hold a brush, we use the thumb, pointer finger, and middle finger to hold it, and use the other two fingers, ring and pinky finger, to go against the brush to provide additional support. The brush is expected to be perpendicular to the paper. Your wrist is also expected to be held up like this. It is definitely a challenge for beginners. Brush paintings use inks and colors. This video will mainly focus on how to apply ink using brushes. Calligraphy and painting apply inks with different methods. For calligraphy, we pour the ink into a bottle. Some water, not too much, can be mixed with ink. The important part is to dip the whole brush in the ink. This will make sure each stroke has evenly distributed ink, or the same darkness, over its surface.
unlike calligraphy, we apply less ink on the tip of the brush for painting. First, we pour a small amount of ink on the plate. Make sure the brush contains some water, but not too wet, and the brush is in a good shape. Use tissue to ensure the brush contains the right amount of water. Then, use the tip of the brush to get ink. The reason for this is that brush art paintings, and to say, for Chinese brush arts, we're looking for a variety of shades and dryness of the ink. Two kinds of brush behaviors are commonly used. Zhongfen is using the central tip of the brush to create a straight and clear line. On the other hand, Cefen is using the side of the brush to create a more texture-like line. Using drawing stone as an example, start with Zhongfen for the outlines. and use cefen to give the rough texture of stone. In brush art painting, it is important to have variations in ink darkness and dryness. Shades are mainly called nong, dan, gan, shi, jiao. Nong, dan explains how much ink is contained in a brush. Nong means there is more ink, and dan means less ink. To get a nong, we make sure there is enough water and ink in the brush. To get lighter shades, then we dilute the brush with water. Gan and shi describes the dryness of brush strokes and how much water is contained in the brush. Gan means dry. means wet. To get that, we dip the brush in water. Jiao means brush is very dry and the ink is very concentrated. We hope this brief introduction video will be helpful to your future study in brush paintings and arts.